Hello and welcome to another episode of My Thoughts. Um, let's talk about Freaks and Geeks. Um, okay, so, Freaks and Geeks is a show that ran for one season between 1999 and 2000. And I, when, I, when it was on, I wasn't, I mean, I was cognitively aware, but I was like four. So, I didn't watch it when it was on. Uh... But I've started. I watched the first episode today, and I love it. It's despite the fact that it takes place in the '80s, I can relate to that show. Like half the stuff they say is stuff I either see or deal with on a daily basis in high school. In fact, one of the first words uttered by any character in the show is, "Man, I hate high school." And hey. I admit it, I don't like high school either. I mean, it's fun, but if I didn't have to be there, I wouldn't. Okay, so the first step, so basically I'll explain the show. The premise of the show is it's this girl who was like academically proficient and she was all like smart. And then she starts hanging out with the potheads because, uh... Her, she watches her grandmother die in a hospital bed, and it makes her, like, kind of, like, live life to the fullest, I guess. I, I don't know everything. I haven't seen the entire show, so I couldn't tell you. What I can tell you is that it's a really good show, and there's a subplot where uh, the main character, Lindsay's uh, brother, played by the guy that... The guy that plays Sweets, John Francis Daly in Bones. So I already love I love the show once I found out that he was in it because he's actually a pretty good actor. Uh, so I'll go over the cast. Um, it centers around uh, Lisa Cardinelli, who you might probably recognize as uh, Velma from the live-action Scooby-Doo movies, and John Francis Daly as uh, Lindsay and Sam Weir and their... Uh, brother and sister, and she is, I don't know what grade she's in, I'm assuming she's either a junior or a senior, I'm assuming senior, and, um, uh, I'm like 90% sure that, uh, John Francis Daly, Sam, is a freshman, based on, uh, everything, and then other characters are, uh, James Franco, Jason Siegel, and Seth Rogen. So, they made the show already, an already awesome show better, and it also has Dave Allen, who played, uh, the computer teacher in Ned's The Classified, and, uh, sometimes, I, and, uh, Tom freaking Wilson, Biff Tannen from Back to the Future as a gym teacher, and it's awesome. I mean, I think my favorite part is that I can seriously relate to this show. Most shows about high school nowadays, they don't have the relatability because it's all like, you, you, you have like certain types of kids. You have the stereotype kids. And don't get me wrong, there are this, they are in this show too, but they do them so much better than they do now. Like, uh, how do I explain it? Um, the characters are, seem more real than a lot of characters in TV today. And I regret that I wasn't able to watch the show when it was on, but the first episode, it is awesome, and I loved it because it was a bunch of stuff that I can totally relate to. And, like, I just, I paused it a couple times because I was like, hey, I've seen that happen, or hey, I had to deal with that three days ago, and it, it's awesome. And, uh, I don't want to give away any of the plot details, because just go watch the show. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Uh, watch Freaks and Geeks. It's amazing. This has been my thoughts.